In today's video, we're going to talk about overpenetration for self-defense rounds, and you can get too much bang for your buck. Stick around. Thanks for joining us on Shoot of the Series. My name is Ed Thorell from Firearms Education and Training. Uh, we appreciate you joining us and also keep watching us. Um, we've gotten good traction and we owe that to our, our viewers. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button as well as the like and the share, but also hit that little bell for instant notifications so you won't miss any of the various episodes that we've got coming out. Uh, we want to do a little bit of update on this video from an earlier video regarding the best, uh, best cartridges for home defense. And there was an incident that occurred just a couple of weeks ago down in Poway in which a man was basically killed asleep in his own bed because two brothers got into an altercation and one fired a round um, that basically went through the adjacent walls and killed a man in another apartment. So the takeaway from this is that, first of all, it's irresponsible. Uh, you've got to be responsible for everything that you do with a firearm because there's no taking it back. And this is a great instance of there's not being any do-overs. One of the things that may have helped this person, I'm not saying it would have prevented it, would have been a better choice of ammo. Now, for example, we're going to talk a little bit about um, some bullet selection from a company called Hornady. Now, there's plenty of folks out there that when they're out trying to buy bullets or cartridges for their firearms are going to be looking for the baddest and the meanest. Well, that comes with some extra risk. Now, for instance, we're going to talk a little bit about Hornady Critical Duty. Now, Critical Duty is a law enforcement grade ammo. It's available to the public. But understand what critical duty does and what it doesn't do. It's used by police and it's especially put together for basically for stopping bank robbers. Um, it has gone through testing which is what's known as the FBI protocol in which a bullet will still be able to have enough energy to stop a bad guy after going through a car door, after going through auto glass, after going through a plate glass window, or through multiple layers of drywall and still be able to penetrate a bad guy and stop him. Well, all that penetration is good in that particular instance. However, Hornady makes another product and this isn't necessarily a commercial for Hornady but it's a great way to show that there's a company out there that makes different types of ammo for different types of tasks involved and this is what's known as critical defense. Critical defense was basically designed for concealed carriers because they don't face the same dangers as law enforcement and you probably won't be engaging somebody in a battle and shooting through car doors, at least we hope not. So critical defense is basically meant for going through heavy clothing but not all of those other types of uh, obstacles like car doors and, and plate glass windows. I'm not saying that the man in, in Poway wouldn't have been in danger, but he would have been in less danger if the proper type of ammunition was bought for the type of self-defense that was going to be um, projected as your needs. So you may not need to get the biggest and the baddest. You just may need to get something that's more appropriate, like a frangible bullet that will break up on impact with a wall and not endanger the people the next door. So you've got to be careful with what you buy. You're going to have to do yourself a little bit of homework. You're going to have to be honest with yourself to find out what's exactly right for your situation so tragedies like this are avoided. Thank you very much for joining us on Shoot of the Series. I'm Ed Thorell from Firearms Education and Training. Come check us out on Patreon if you want to help us out. Y'all have a good day. Take care.